How are we doing today, Vault Dwellers? I'm with Tinsy, and in this one, we're gonna jump into how to install mods into Fallout 76. So let's stop wasting time. We're gonna jump right into it. No fancy intros, none of that stuff. We're just jumping right into the video. First thing you wanna do, you wanna jump over to nexusmods.com. Once you get to Nexus Mods, you're going to need to create an account. You need an account in order to download the mods from this website. So just go ahead and quickly create an account. Once you do that, you're gonna click view all down here for all the games. And then you can either search for the game or you can just scroll through to find it. Uh, but once you find it, if you're logged in, you can hit this plus up here and favorite it. And then once it's favorited, all you have to do is go to games and then it's right there. So you just click it and it'll take you to the list of mods for the game. First one we're gonna go over, you wanna click on popular of all time and you want this quick config that's down here, the Fallout 76 quick configuration. I will have links down below to all of these. So if you don't wanna come looking for it, you can just follow the link down below, but you're gonna click that and go into it. You can read more about it if you want, uh, but we go to files and then just hit download, the manual download. And if you don't have an account, this is where it will prompt you to create one. Once you create one, just go ahead and download it. And then once it is downloaded, it will be right here in your downloads folder or wherever you saved them. Once you open it up, basically all you're gonna do is you can click extract to and then pick a folder to extract it to. So like if I wanted it in my downloads folder there, I could just hit okay and it'll pop a folder in my downloads or you can just highlight it all, shift down arrow or shift page down and then you can just click and drag to whatever file or whatever folder you wanted it in. Once you get it extracted, you will have this. You're gonna want the fallout76ini.exe. Once you open that up, there's so much you can do with this program, just on with the program itself. So you can skip the intro videos and the splash screens to get into the game quicker. You can speed up the fade in after loading. You can turn your backpack on or off. There's so much stuff you can do with this. Uh, change your field of view, draw distance, in the video, if you're having video issues and your settings aren't sticking in the game, you can come here, pick your correct settings, go through all that, and it will stick and it will override the game. So if you're having setting issues, definitely grab this. It'll help you out. And once you're done messing with all the settings in there, to install the mods from here, you just click on the mods. And then this window will pop up. Obviously it's gonna be blank for you, but this is where you would go to install your mods. So for that, you find a mod you wanna download. So we're gonna install the improved health bars here. You can read here how to install it manually if you want, uh, or you can just come in here, click manual download. It'll do its thing and download it. And then all you need to do, all you need to do is go back to your downloads folder and then get your mod, just click it and pull it over. And once you pull it over, it will throw it in there for you. So then you just click the check mark and you click deploy. Once it's deployed and enabled, now you got your mod installed. It's that easy to install mods for this. Some mods will not install through this. So like if you're going to go and you want to get the text chat mod, which needs SFE or any other mod that needs SFE, SFE, you need to install on your own, which all you're doing at that point is just taking the DLL you download and putting it into your Fallout 76 directory where the EXE is at that you launch the game. So Bethesda's official stance on mods with Fallout 76. Fallout 76 does not support the use of any mods, add-ons, or other third-party programs. Please be aware that the use of such applications may result in Fallout 76 not functioning properly. So that is their official stance on modding the game. I've been running mods for the last three, four months that I've been back into this game pretty hardcore. I haven't had any issues with the mods I'm running. As long as you don't run mods that are going to negatively affect other people. So the reload mods, stuff like that, stuff that's going to give you an advantage in PvP or whatnot obviously is going to get you in trouble. If you're running quality of life mods, you should be fine. You should not have any issues whatsoever. Now, with that being said, we're going to get into the mod lists here on what mods I am running. First mod we're going to go over is Better Inventory. Better Inventory is nice. It tells you down here at the bottom how much weight 
you have in your tab and you can even cycle through your tabs to see where your weight's at. So it makes it nice for inventory management so you can figure out where all your weight's going. Next mod we're gonna go over is tagged rare plans and apparel. This one's nice as it tells you where the plans come from. So like here, meat pile comes from Colossal Problem. So does the Wendigo Colossus skin rug. Uh, here you got ones that come from the gifts, which are the festive scorch that's going on right now. And then you also get these icons here to the side. So like this cap icon here tells you how rare the plan is and how much it's worth. I don't know if I would trust this too much, but it gives you a good indicator on if the plan is worth anything. And then you can look it up to see how much it's worth on like Fed76 or something. All right, next mod we're gonna go over is Save Everything. Save Everything's nice. It won't let you drop things that you have favorited. So I can't drop my water here. No matter how much I try, I have to unfavorite it to drop it. And also when you go to drop something, you can actually type in a number. Whereas default, it doesn't let you do that. Next mod we're gonna go over is the uni map mod along with TZ maps. So this is the TZ map installed via the Unimap manager. Uh, with the Unimap manager, you can see how many people are online, how many nukes were launched, and what map you're currently looking at. You can switch between different maps. So this is the normal map, the default map, or you can go to other maps that you have installed and all that, which makes uh, Unimap manager and the Unimap so nice. TZ map does have a pit. Not that anyone's doing pit anymore. Uh, maps for that. Hopefully they come out with Atlantic City map soon, uh, but the map manager is how you would install all that. Just follow the instructions, uh, download the map manager, follow the instructions in the program, and it's pretty, pretty easy to get installed. Next mod is going to be the improved health bar mod. As you can tell, my health bar down there in the bottom left is segmented. Uh, and it has the percentage next to it. It just makes life easier when you're rocking a bloodied build or a low health build. This way you know if you're down below 20% or not, where currently I'm at 24%. So I could come in here and I could just start popping. There we go, now I'm at 19.8% and Nerd Rage propped. Just makes life easier so you know where your health's at for Nerd Rage and all that for the low health. The other three mods I have installed are uh, Plans and Recipes Glow. Makes it easier for my old eyes to see them. Uh, same with keys and key cards. They glow so my old eyes can see them. And then I have on Glow XP Ingredients. Uh, so ingredients to make brain bombs, cranberry relish, berry mentats will all glow. So like the firecracker, berry bushes will glow, the brain fungus will glow. Just so my old eyes are able to see it easier. It's not ESP, so you can't see the stuff through walls. It just makes them glow when you're looking at them. One thing to keep in mind with mods, when the game updates, you need to jump back on Nexus mods to see if the mods got updated or when they get updated. Some mods, when the game updates, will break the game and not let the game load or will crash when you go in your inventory or anything like that. So when the game updates, keep an eye on the mods to see when the mods update and then you need to reinstall the mods with the new update. And on that note, I'd like to take a minute, thank each and every one of you for watching this video and a thank you to all the channel members for their continued support. Uh, if you wanna become a channel member, just click the join button down below and hopefully we'll catch you in a live stream. I do go live just about every day if I can. So hopefully we'll catch you over there. Until then, have yourself a, a good night, good morning, good afternoon, good evening, whatever it is where you were at, and we'll catch you in the next one.